And welcome to the ACC basketball wrap-up right here. I'm Coach Dick Cox, joined by Christy Promer. Well, Christy, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for basketball season. I'm definitely ready. Today uh, was a great way to kick off the start of basketball season. Again, we have been attending the ACC basketball media days, the best, I can say this, the best basketball conference in America. Absolutely. There's, I, I don't think any other conference really stands a chance right now. I'm sure uh, the ACC is probably going to have more NCAA bids than they've ever had, so I'm looking forward to it. I thought it was kind of interesting that somebody made a comment today that this is the SEC football is, this is what basketball is right here with ACC basketball. Well, you had a chance to hear from all the head coaches today. What did you take from what they had to say? Um, there's a lot of rebuilding that's going to go on this year, so I'm curious to see um, who really kind of um, rises to the top from that. As a Carolina fan, I hate to say it, I think Duke's going to be still be the team to beat, but uh, I think Syracuse added to the mix. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah, and you mentioned Duke was a preseason pick, I think, on 50 out of 53 votes there, but they've got some new guys coming in. They lost three key players last year in Pumley, Plumley, Clurry, and I can't remember the big man that went to the Lakers right now, though, but they lost three <laughs> guys, but they are bringing in true freshmen. Mm -hmm. One of them is a transfer, excuse me, a transfer student, another one true freshman. They're really un tested though so do you really see them as being the dominant team right now unfortunately I always think Duke is going to be a dominant team uh, they always seem to pull it out somehow whether they're rebuilding or not Syracuse a team that went to the final four last year picked preseason number two again should bring a lot to this conference right there though but I mean I just can't imagine you know what this is going to do when you stop and think I cover a lot of Clemson games when a Syracuse comes to Clemson you've already got North Carolina and Duke coming there though but just the excitement that's going to bring to basketball in this area that's going to be a ton of excitement and I can't imagine all the orange that's going to be in Clemson whenever Syracuse shows up. It's a lot of orange, but um, it's definitely, I just, I can't wait to see the talent that this conference is going to have from now going forward. All right, let's talk about your team, North Carolina, right now. North Carolina, probably, I thought, would have been the preseason pick because they played so many young kids last year, though, but they've had some off-the-court episodes right now that kind of leave things, their best leading scorer coming back, suspended indefinitely right now as Roy Williams I see how he put that He's inactive inactive, inactive <laughs> was the word of the day for Roy Williams there though but you know how's that going to affect the team the chemistry of the team not knowing with him you know what kind of effect do you see that having on a team this year um I honestly don't think it's going to affect them that much um I feel like Roy's a really good coach and probably has him prepared for whether he um, PJ's going to be there or not um like he said he's named the leaders on this team and I'm sure they're just going to follow the two that he named. And like he said, they'll, the leaders will be determined on the court as well. We had a chance to hear 15 head coaches mm -hmm. talk today. Who were your favorites? I'll let you go through and tell me maybe your top top five. Who top are your top five, five coaches. coaches today you enjoyed hearing? Obviously, Roy Williams is going to be my favorite. Coach K, he was very good. Um, Mike Bray from Notre Dame, I enjoyed him. Um, Clemson. Brad Brunell, I thought he was good. And surprisingly, the uh, Wake Forest coach, Jeff <laughs> Mizdelic, I, I, he just had the line of the day to me. He uh, was talking about how they need to improve. And he said, unfortunately, his team's GPA is higher than their points per game. So um, I just found that funny. <laughs> so. and, and you know what's bad is this was one of his more outgoing days. Yeah. That he's not known to be uh, – personality wise really strong but he had to tell everybody that was a joke that nobody's yeah, ever heard him tell a joke before nobody they've laughed. never heard a joke it was quite, it was funny that he had to say that was a joke people but it was uh it got a few chuckles <laughs> again you know the thing that's sad right is that when you come to like this everybody comes in with high expectations but we look at a list from 1 to 15 you know Virginia Tech's at the bottom of the pack right there though but you know who do you see out of all these teams is maybe being the surprise team this year um, to me, uh, I'm going to say Virginia. I don't know. I, I, just, I, was gonna say. Um, I just think they have, you know, some good players coming back. Um, and I don't know. I think they kind of finished the year. I could tell that they were improving last year. So I think that they're going to continue on that this year. All right. It was brought up the possibility of moving the tournament to Madison Square Garden. What are your thoughts on that? Um, 
obviously I like it in Greensboro just because I it's convenient but um I think it would be cool to have it there I don't want it to be moved there permanently I hope definitely don't want them to forget their roots but I don't think it would be a bad idea we can't we got to you know embrace the love from our new northern friends that's true <laughs> and and again I know that's a spot but I like the way they've done it in the past Greensboro you know is the home office of the ACC I think it needs to stay there but I like the way they move it to Charlotte it's been in Atlanta and I don't have a problem with them moving it to Madison Square Garden I'd love to go to New York yeah. to see that, though, but I don't think it should be there every year. No, absolutely not. I think it should uh, rotate every every year. Right? You know, Greensboro, New York, just rotate. I think it'll be good. <laughs> On the other side of it right now, though, we ask you who's going to be a surprise team. Mm -hmm. What team do you think is going to be the most disappointing team this year? Um, Miami. I just feel like they lost so many strong players it's going to be really hard for them to bounce back to where they were last year and you know obviously they you know the outright um regular season champions the acc tournament champions and i just think that they're kind of going to fall off this year i'm going with nc state it's okay. been in mind that i've got some concerns with the you know the talent they had last year they were preseason picked to win the thing didn't come close to winning it when they had that much talent i'm wondering what's going to happen this year when they're they've got a cast right there that, that again they had some players transfer out though right. but you know time will that's the that's the fun thing about the games that's why we don't play it on paper we play it on hardwood Absolutely. I can't wait to see how it plays out. It's going to be good. Well, it's just around the corner, though. We've had fun today. Had a great lunch today that I enjoyed lunch, and I'm going to say they still have any more desserts out there, though. <laughs> but, again, we've had fun bringing you, you know, what 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 was your favorite thing of the day? I'm just getting to meet the coaches or to listen to them and just I uh, obviously dancing. I haven't been on this side of it. So it's just kind of fun to see uh, to see the coaches and hear what they have to say and that they actually have personalities. <laughs> Even Coach K, who I've sworn to, that I was going to hate, but I kind of can't. <laughs> He's got a dry sense of humor. And, and that's the thing that I was telling you before. There's been some of these teams that before I got into this, that I disliked their programs and all. And when you get a chance, and, and you'll be proud to know people that I actually shook hands with every coach and wished every coach here today good luck going out the door <laughs> with that, though. And Christy will verify that for me, though. But it's just kind of neat, like you say, when you get a chance to talk with the coaches and you see them doing other things and screaming for letters words at players yelling at referees and stuff you get to see they have another side to them absolutely um they're human just like everyone else so it was uh it was good to see i've had fun today appreciate you coming being with us and this has been today the 52nd annual uh, acc basketball media day coming to you live from charlotte we will be back with you with the coach's corner tomorrow night from fats we'll see you then goodbye everybody Bye.